So, um, I just wanted to make an introductory video and talk about a few things. <clears throat> First off, um, what is Linux? And that's not something I'm going to really want to go into uh, very in-depth, but Linux is an operating system. Um, Windows is an operating system. OS X is an operating system. Um, a lot of people run Linux on their desktop computers at home, but Linux, probably a, its primary use is um, in network environments, uh, say, uh, you know, web servers, um, DNS servers, all those things. Things we'll learn how to set up later. So Linux is uh, is an operating system. That's pretty much what Linux is. Um, if you're interested, you know, just, you can read the history of Linux. But uh, um, why should you want to learn Linux um, to any, you know, here's the thing. I went into a job interview about two weeks ago. And in the job interview, I asked the guy at the end of the interview, I said, uh, you know, what are you looking for in a candidate? And he said, you know, we get a lot of people who apply for this job who are developers, but they don't know Linux, um, or they don't know it very well. And we get a lot of people in here who know Linux, but they don't know development very well. And uh, then he said, we, we also get a lot of people in here who say they know Linux and they have Linux on their resume, and really all they can do is, you know, boot into a graphical environment like this and install packages, whatever, right? Well, that's not really knowing Linux in any sort of capacity to be a sysadmin or to really do a whole lot with it. I mean, when you're a, a sysadmin, let's say, right, you uh, you boot into your, uh, you uh, remotely log into servers, and this is all you're going to get. So you're, you're, you're uh, doing all your system administration on a, a command line, you know? So... Yeah, so you're not going to, you, you know, you want to know the command line. You're not going to have a, a graphical interface, really. Um, as well, the other reason you want to know the command line is, you know, if someone, say, adding users, let me see, I imagine you can do that. Yeah, here we go. Someone's adding users by clicking add user and typing all this out, right? I don't know, you know, probably take an hour they could do a hundred, let's say, um, probably, you know, 100, 150, you know, you could do a hundred, 150 in one second by scripting that out on the command line, you know, for I and Bob, Bob, John, Jim, do user add, I, done. So, you know, just added three users. And, I mean, of course, you know, the, you, you, could, you can actually make this uh, much better. But, I mean, you know, three users added. And I'd have to sit and click here and, oh, Bob, Bob, you know. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, graphical interfaces in Linux, eh, you know. It's great for a home user, uh, you know, and who wants to use links when they're browsing the web. I wonder if I even have it installed. Linksgoogle.com. Yeah, I don't even have it installed. Links. Anyway, so graphical interface, it's for end users. Uh, command line, that's where the power of Linux is. That's where you're going to get into system administration. So we're going to learn the command line in depth. Um, now, we're going to start at the very beginning, such as basically, what is this? What is a shell? Um, you know, what, uh, what are some of the minor differences between the different shells, right? Um, how do I find out what shell I'm in? Uh, what shell I'm using? Uh, how do I find out what shells are on the system? Things like that, okay? Um, so we're going to start at the beginning. 
but before we can start at the beginning we have to get a lab environment set up so the lab environment um, setting up the lab environment requires you know typing in a bunch of commands that I'm not going to explain at this point because um, we're gonna go over those later so basically for the first few videos I just want you to follow along and and just type the commands and don't worry about what exactly I'm doing or what the commands do or anything like that just type them in and uh, and yeah just follow along so um, uh, the first tutorial video which will be covering you know um, your shell environment and things like that uh, that that I'll actually explain everything that I'm doing and you know so yeah so for the first videos and setting up the lab just follow along and really that's about all um, that's about all I can think of so yeah I hope you enjoy uh, the set of videos and let's get started